Uh, during this circuit breaker period, we will make a further change to our guidance on mask. We had already updated our advisory on mask earlier based on the latest uh, medical and scientific advice, and that's why we went out to distribute reusable masks to everyone, and that exercise has completed over the weekend. So we will now take a further step and make it mandatory for everyone to wear masks when they go out. There will be some exceptions or exemptions to this rule. For example, for very young children, those below the age of two, uh, the medical experts recommend not to wear masks because of child safety. So that group will be exempted. For those who are engaging in strenuous exercise, like running or jogging, then you can remove the mask when you are engaging in strenuous exercise, but after that you have to put the mask on. And when you are engaging in running or jogging, then make sure that you are maintaining a safe distance between yourself and others. Other than these exceptions, everyone else going out will have to wear a mask. And we will enforce this rule too, like all the other safe distancing and circuit breaker measures that we have put in place. Now, we will also continue to be very firm and strict in enforcing and implementing the circuit breaker measures. The, we have gone straight because sufficient warning has been given to everyone. So immediately for the first offence, it's a fine of $300. The second offence will be a fine of 1000 or prosecution in court for egregious cases. And we've issued more than 500 fines uh, to date. For foreign residents who are caught uh, breaching any of the rules, then on top of the, off the fines, uh, we will not hesitate to revoke their employment or work passes or even their PR status. So all of us should comply with the circuit breaker measures, not just to avoid the penalties, but to protect ourselves and our family and our loved ones. The health of all Singaporeans depends on each one of us, and we can beat the virus together.